In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to make a clip art image of a bug, like the one shown here. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. During the video, you'll see a variety of techniques that you can use for making your own clip art images. I'm going to start by selecting the fill and stroke control. And I do this under the objects menu. I'm going to be using this multiple times during this video, so I wanted to have it handy. And then I'm going to start by creating an oval shape. So I'm going to press the circle button, press and hold down the left mouse button while I draw an oval shape. And this is going to be the body of the bug. And that looks about right. Then I'm going to go down to the color palette to change the color. I'm going to left click on orange and then I'm going to hold down the shift button while I click on another color here and that'll be the border or the stroke that goes around the outside. And then I want to add a gradient to this. And so I'm going to press control D and that'll create a copy of this object. And then I'm going to go down to the color palette and turn it white. And then I'm going to go over to the fill and stroke control make sure I have the fill tab selected and I'm going to click on the radial gradient button. And then I'm going to go down to the left side and click on the gradient button so that I can manipulate this gradient. And I'm going to pull the center of the gradient up a little bit. And then I'm going to grab this handle on top and pull that out a little bit so I can elongate the gradient in the vertical direction a little bit. And next I'm going to create the wings. I'm going to press the arrow button here and now with this orange oval selected I'm going to press control D to make a copy of it. And then I'm going to left click on this shape so that I can turn the corner arrows into the arrows that let me rotate this image. And then I'm also going to press the control key because that'll let me get a nice 90 degree angle as I rotate this. And then I'm going to set the fill color to this at the color palette. I'm going to left click on the color. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down while I click on this color here for the border color. And then I'm going to drag this up while I'm holding the control key. Holding the control key will let me drag it straight up. And then I want to cut a triangle shape out of the wings here. And I'm going to do that with the point of a star. So first I'm going to left click on just anywhere in this white section so I can deselect everything. And I'm going to press the star button. And then I'm going to draw a star. And that looks about right. Then I'm going to press on the arrow button. And with this star selected, I'm going to drag it down here to the center. And then while I hold the shift key, I'm going to left click on the oval here. And then I'm going to go up to the path menu and I'm going to select difference. And now I have a triangle shape cut out of the wings. And now I want to add a gradient to the wings. And so with the oval selected, I'm going to press Control D to make a copy of it. I'm going to change its color to white. And I'm going to go over to the Fill and Stroke menu and click on the Radial Gradient button. And then I'm going to go down to the left here and click on the Gradient button so that I can control this gradient. And I'm going to pull the center of the gradient up a little bit. And as before, I don't want the white to be quite this bright. So I'm going to go back over to the fill and stroke menu and change the opacity to 75%. And then I'm going to select the arrow key and then press any area in the white so that I can deselect everything. Then I'm going to press the pencil tool button then I'm going to center this on top of the 
triangle shaped cutout that I made. And I'm going to press and release the left mouse button. And then while I hold the control key, I'm going to move the mouse up. And the control key will let me draw a perfectly vertical line. And then I'll left click the mouse button again for the other side. And then I'm going to set the color of this line down at the color palette. And since this is a stroke that I just did, I need to press the shift key and then left click the color that I want to set this to. And next I'm going to add the spots. So I'm going to press the arrow key and then the white space to deselect everything. And then I'm going to press the circle button and I'm going to hold down the left mouse button while I draw an oval. And then I'm going to select the color of this at the color palette. So I'm going to left click for the fill color and press shift and left click for the border color or the stroke color. And then I'm going to press the arrow key. And with this object selected, I'm going to click it once so that I get the arrows on the edge that let me rotate this. And I'm going to rotate a little bit. And then I'm going to press Control D to make a copy. And I'm going to move the copy. And I'll press Control D again for another copy. And I'll just keep repeating this until I get my four spots. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select these other spots with the left mouse button. So I'll get them all four selected at the same time. I'll press Control D. And that'll make copies of all of them. And then I'm going to drag all four of these copies over to the other side. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to press the flipped objects horizontally button. And now I have the spots for the other side. And I want these wings to have a shiny appearance. So I'm going to select the arrow button and press in the white area to deselect everything. And then I'm going to select the square button and I'm going to draw a square. And I'm going to change its color to white. And over at the Fill and Stroke menu, I'm going to turn off the stroke by pressing this X right here. Then I'm going to press the arrow key. And then click this once so that I can get the arrows that let me rotate this. I'm going to rotate it and position it up here. And then I'm going to go up to the Path menu. And I'm going to select Object to Path. And then I'm going to press the Edit Paths button. And I'm going to adjust these nodes here a little bit. And then I'm going to push the left mouse button at the center of this edge right here. And pull that up a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with the inside edge. And then I'm going to select the Tweak Objects button. And notice the settings that I have for this. A width of 3, a force of 20, and I've got the Push Parts button selected here. So then I'm just going to come over here and push in these corners just a little bit. I'm not looking for this to be perfect. I just want kind of a random effect. Then I'm going to press the gradient button. And I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button while I drag this down. And then I'm going to position the top side of it. And that looks good. And next we're going to make the eyes. So I'm going to go down to the color palette and select black. And then I'm going to press the circle button. And I'm going to press and hold the control key while I press the left mouse button and drag this over to make a circle. 
I'm going to left click in the white area here to deselect everything and then I'm going to change the color to white and select the square button I'm going to draw a square then I'm going to click on the arrow button and then single click to get the arrows that let me rotate this so I'm going to rotate that move it closer to the edge over here I'm going to go up to the path menu and select object to path then I'm going to select the node button and move these nodes in just a little bit and as I did before I'm going to press and hold the mouse button while I select the center of this line and pull that up a little bit and then I'm going to select the gradient tool and press and hold the mouse button while I drag this over and I'll set the other side here too and now I have one eye so then I'm gonna hit the arrow key here and with this object selected I'm gonna hold down the shift button and click on the circle and with both of these selected I'm gonna go up to object group and then I'm gonna position this eye right here and then I'm gonna press on this button which will send this object to the bottom and then I'll press control D to make a duplicate and then I'll move this over to the right while I'm holding down the control key and then I'll press this button to send this to the bottom and now all we need to add are the legs so I'm going to go down to the Bezier tool here I'm going to make sure that I have the the regular Bezier path selected and I'm going to select the triangle in and that'll let me take a triangle shape that'll be placed along the path that I draw so I'm going to select one end of the leg and just left mouse click and release the mouse button drag the mouse over press and release the left mouse button drag this down press and release the left mouse button and then I'm going to press the right mouse button to end this then I'm going to go back up to the arrow button and now with this selected I'm going to press control D to make a copy of it and I'm going to pull this up I'm going to press control D to make another copy of it and this time I'm going to press the button which will allow me to flip this horizontally and I'm going to take this new copy and I'm going to move it over here to the left side and then I'm going to press control D to make a copy and I'm going to pull this down and now we have the four legs and then I'm going to press the shift key while I select these other legs and then I'm going to press the button here which will allow me to put these legs down on the bottom and now we have our complete bug well thanks for watching this video and please leave a comment have a great day